Hey everyone, this is Chris over at Ace Vacuums here at 11110 Lee Highway in Fairfax, Virginia. We're right across the street from the Haverty's. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a couple things here with the Dyson. Um, this is one of the Dyson balls, the UP13s, uh, one of the most common ones that's sold. Um, <clears throat> there's a couple filters and stuff on here that we're going to just go over and basically talk to you about how often you should replace the filters and then kind of where they're located at because some people forget that this has multiple filters in it. Um, so with the Dyson filters, you're going to have two of them in here, all right? Uh, your first filter is going to be in this container right here. This is the most common one that everybody pretty much knows about. You're just going to lift this lid open here, and you're just going to pull this out, all right? Um, again, Dyson has these um, symbols on here basically showing that you can wash this filter, uh, which is great. You could wash this filter. But after so long, the dirt and debris and everything is just going to get clotted up into this into this thing. And it's just going to be so matted up that it's not going to do its job, which is filtering the dirt and dust. Because when you mix water with dirt and you don't really clean it out as well, um, it's just going to continue to build up. So I do recommend still replacing these at least every 6 to 12 months. Um, and then you can get them at our store. We sell them here at Ace Vacuums, both at our Leesburg store and our Fairfax store. But you can also check us out at www.acevacuums.com. We carry all these filters and everything like that, okay? So when you do get your new filter, you're just going to stick this in the top and just close this back up. All right. And then this is the common one that people forget. This is like your main HEPA filter. So if you notice here, there's the ball on this side, and then you have the ball on this side over here. Well, on this side, there's like a little screw piece. Basically, you're just gonna take your fingers and kind of give this a turn to the left, counterclockwise, and just keep turning. And what's gonna happen is this whole plate, this side plate here is gonna just pop off. And that's gonna expose the filter here on this side. So if you notice here, here's your second, your main filter, in my opinion. This is your HEPA filter right here. This is kind of where everything comes down from the machine, blows the air out. So you wanna replace this as often as possible. Um, I would say every 12 to 16 months, but if you're somebody that vacuums often, that's somebody that vacuums once a week, you know, four times a month. If you're somebody that vacuums multiple times a week, you definitely should be thinking about replacing this because if you want good quality air um, and, and filtered air, definitely replacing this would help you. Um, so if you notice what, how you pop this off, it's just kind of give it a turn to the left and the whole thing will go off. Uh, and you notice here, this is a bad filter. You can see how dirty this one is. It's completely black. It's not doing the job of filtering the air back out into the room that you're in. Um, so this is supposed to, the job of this filter is to filter all that bad air out. So everything coming out of here is gonna be good quality, clean air, dust free and dirt free. So when it gets to this point, you definitely wanna definitely think about changing it. And then when you put your new filter on, you're just gonna line these pegs back up. Just like this. Just give it a turn and then you're just going to put this one back on and screw this back in like that um for any questions you guys can give us a call about these filters or how often they should be replaced where to get them at anything like that um, our phone number is 703-997-9292 extension 2 just ask for chris uh, and one last thing before you guys go um, on here you'll notice this brush roll these are really easy to pop off and clean. There's a little piece right here on this clip. Basically, this red clip will pop off. It'll release this whole power head here. And then what you do is there's two little side clips here and here on each side. You pop this off. You guys should be cleaning that roller. Um, don't let it kind of get built up with a lot of stuff because it's going to lose the quality of dirt that's going to be able to pick up. You want this to stay relatively clean. That way there's good airflow and nothing's uh, trapping that roller up uh, and nothing like that. So, But if you have any questions about anything, stop by our store. Like I said, we're at 11110 Lee Highway, or you can check us out at www.acevacuums.com or give us a call here at the store at 703-997-9292, extension 1. Ask for Chris, and I'll be able to help you guys out. I hope you guys were able to uh, get grasp something from this. Thank you guys, and don't forget to subscribe to us here on YouTube, as well as check us out on Facebook, Instagram, 
and TikTok. We uh, like and subscribe to all of our pages. Thank you guys, and uh, have a great day.